Hey guys, all right, so we're here picking up bees. Uh, Matt is in the back right now fixing it so that they can put the nook back there. I'm gonna shut down this heat a little bit. It's definitely a difference in temperature from the last few days to today. It's a lot nicer today. So anyway, yeah, we're getting these bees and uh, you can see him standing back there. How are you today? I'm busy. <laughs> Very, very busy. All right, we got the bees. They're still in their box. And, you know, we've done a, a little bit of research on how to handle them, getting them into the hive. So what we have is a flow hive. I'm sure lots of you have heard of it. It's a sort of, well, hey, there's a bee right here. Is there? <laughs> yep. Uh, well, there he goes. He's got the bees. I don't think that bee came here. No, probably not. So he's got the the beehive. Well, the nook, I should call it. Um, and from what we we talked to the beekeeper, we are um, we've been doing a lot of research. So right now it's going to be in a shady place. We'll take off the lid and just kind of let the bees get acclimated to the area. In the meantime, the kids and I are going to paint this uh, the flow hive. On the outside, we have pretty colors of, of blue and green. Very light, pretty colors. Um, and, woohoo, yeah, there's a bee in here. You guys, did it go in front of the camera? What are you doing? The hive's that way. Go there. Although, they'll probably kick you out. <laughs> um, anyway, I just got to get these little chicks done here. We did get more meat chickens over the weekend. We get them every single weekend now. Um, so they are in here. This is the first brooder. They graduate out there. You guys know the deal from the last video where it was a little confusing. So I'm just gonna get these guys fed. These chicks though, what? Oh, give me a second. Hold on, he's calling me. Let's see what this is all about. You gonna open it? Yeah, they're Italian bees. I got calm ones. They're honeybees. They didn't even they didn't out. Did that on purpose. <laughs> this is our first time with beekeeping. We don't want to go with crazy aggressive yeah. bees. They didn't even fly out. All right, go for it. Oh, there they go. There's a, f a few of them. Yeah, a few of them. Yep. Look. Oh, they're flying oh they've out. already got honeycomb in there. Yep. There's honey in there. Ooh there they go. So you All just right. open it and kind of let them yep, and fly just, around. Yep. Yeah, he had it just kind of tipped open like that a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. See and now these? they're coming out and they're they're exploring. They're gonna explore. That's their new home. Actually, you got to put that on pallets. Yeah, I was gonna do it now. Actually. Yeah. Once you do I'm that, for the email we for will the paint. Confirmation. Do you hear? Yep. It's fine. They should be good there. They're gonna fly around and do their thing. Yeah. It says to leave them. I gotta read about the queen. Open. Yeah. All right. So. I'm gonna lift you guys up a bit. So the new chicks are, uh, they're red. They're uh, Red Ranger, but it's a certain kind of Red Ranger. It's actually taking the place of the Red Ranger. Uh, it's a new, I guess a newer breed from what they're saying, but it takes about two weeks longer to grow out. Um, I kind of stay away from the Red Ranger because of that reason, because they take so long. Uh, but this is all that was available, so we got them. And let me show you the difference, see if I can catch one. So, Cornish Cross, Red Ranger. These guys are obviously younger, we just got them yesterday, but you can see the difference in the color. Um, but both meat birds, so either way they'll work. So, in one more week, those on that brooder on the porch, they will graduate to the chicken tractor, the uh, Cornish cross in here will graduate to that brooder and then these guys, the reds will stay in here on their own and then again we just keep doing it every week so that we have sort of this constant supply of meat chickens until the end of summer hopefully. Alright so on today's agenda first thing is to paint that beehive. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it recommends two coats of good paint. We got paint primer. He's putting it on pallets now because it needs to be more on, um, it's level, I leveled it, but it needs to be up higher off the ground. 
I don't like that there's dirt next to it. I don't like that the hill is next to it so that dirt and leaves can get onto it. I don't want any of that. So we are, we're fixing it, making it higher, and keeping it level. Uh, after he does that, kids and I are gonna paint. <clears throat> the bees are already out. They're kind of flying around. Yeah? I gotta help. Yeah, that comes off. Okay. on the ground. See the dirt, leaves, everything's getting in there? That's not okay. We want our bees to be as healthy as possible and clean. This was supposed to be done a while ago, but we won't say anything. <laughs> Penny? Yeah. Hello. Did you see the honeycomb already in there? So um, I saw the wood pine in the honeycomb. So you know some of the those trays we can take out of here. We're gonna put that honeycomb right in it. Yep. Okay. So we'll have so we'll have they'll some, know uh, that that's honey right home. off the bat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The we'll honey have... that we're gonna get that pours out are in this top. It's in those three yellow things. I'm excited. That's the kind that pours out. The yep. rest of it is we have to do it by the, hand the and get the honeycomb. So the bees that got out, because some of the bees got out when yeah, that opened opened it will they stay with their um, yeah that's their home so they're yeah, going out stay with them. scavenging for wherever that whatever queen they need is to do. that's where those bees will go yeah, yeah the, wherever the, the queen, queen is. is all about the queen yeah. wherever she is that's where they go just like mom you're the exactly queen. <laughs> yeah exactly. It, it's the same with the kids wherever the queen goes the kids, kids go. go yeah usually there are going to be some happy bees i'll tell you that much and i'm going to be a happy gardener so not only, if we, I didn't want bees just for the honey. I want them to pollinate our gardens. Remember the issues we had last year with no squash and no pumpkins? That's because we had no bees. Yeah, well I really, I'm also looking at, I'm excited because it's really cool to see the, the honey flow mm -hmm. out into the thing. But it's also, um, it's just cool to see, you can see them make the mm -hmm. honey. Hey Bobby, yeah. let me know what you think. Um, put a couple pavers on this end because it's going this way. Yeah, but just add the pavers and it should be, should be fine. All right, Aiden is painting his. He got that, what'd you get that last year? Yep. Yeah, it's one of those little houses that's got all the little um, tubes and stuff in it that the bees can go into and make nests if they want, I guess. And he didn't have any luck with it last year, but he figures since we got bees now, he might have luck this year. I have potatoes that I have to plant. And it's kind of a crazy story. <clears throat> I was just saying uh, a few days ago when I was getting all of this weeded out, I got all of the pumpkin, I'm not the pumpkins, the potatoes weeded out. I gotta do this side still, that's corn and stuff. But I was like, some of these, as you can see, did not come up. You can see there's areas where potatoes did not come up and for whatever reason. But, and then I'm saying like, oh, I gotta get more and I couldn't find any more. I was having trouble finding any more in the, in the stores or farms and things. And then I got, I saw online somebody giving away some that were already chits, uh, already ready to go. So, I cut them in half a couple days ago, let them seal over, and now I'm gonna plant. Okay, the time has come. We're gonna. <laughs> Where is he at? Right there. The new beekeeper. <laughs> we gotta transfer the bees from the nook right there into the new beehive. That all's all. That is all freshly painted. And we went and got a smoker to make this uh, transition a little bit easier. I'm gonna stay at a little bit of a distance with the camera and he's gonna go over there and handle all of that. All right, 
He's gonna do that. We just took the top off so he could get them in there. He's moving the bees a little bit closer now to Is it working? Yeah, I think it is. That's good. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Look at all that honeycomb. Whoa! Aiden, look! What? Well, I wanna see. Okay, let me do that. Okay. Ooh, I got one on me. Yep. Yeah, I need that smoker. Of course, by the time he gets a lid, I'll probably be done. Hmm. Wow, oh, look at that. That's a lot of bees. I've never been around so many bees in my life. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe you're doing this. Whoa, look at all them bees. Yep, I could hear them when I... Uh... I got one of these stinging me. Did he get you? <laughs> Walk away though if they sting you. Walk away if they sting you. Oh man, they're really going for me. Yeah, that's Ow. why I said walk away. Because what happens is um, they're protecting their home. Yeah. And the farther you get, the, the more they'll leave you alone. You me um, this should probably be tucked in. I don't know, because they could just go down my shirt. No, this is wide open. They can go right up in there. You, when I saw you um, leaning over, it was like this. Oh, it literally could go right over here. I can't see it though. I don't know. I'm sure they'll, they'll get used to it. They'll go up in there and they'll start. Excited, Aiden? I am. <laughs> cool. okay, we're gonna, oh, okay. All right, guys, we are out front again. I have a water feature I'm putting in. You guys can see that right there. So I found this thing at Tractor Supply and I already have a big pump. This is the real deal guys. This is heavy. This is a real pump. Water pump that I've had for years and I saw and I wanted to make it into a water feature. It was kind of cool. So I bought, I bought a pump or an actual pump for pumping water um, and we're gonna attach this to the piece of wood I just cut and I put it up there. Um, put the pump through, the hose through it, and it should be a continuous water feature. That's what I'm hoping.